Hey Geminis, welcome back to my channel. Um, you guys have been on my mind, like I wanted to actually do your reading as one of my first ones, but for some reason I didn't, but like, I don't know why, maybe something major is going on with you guys, but I just keep hearing like do Gemini readings. So um, I am getting to you guys, but I wanted to get to you sooner. I just, I don't know. Anyways, so um, let's see what's going on with you guys. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, and uh, cross watchers, okay? This is for the worm moon. It's the full moon on March 9th in Virgo. A, way a time to reprioritize, reorganize, reevaluate all the Virgo things, okay? Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and comment on my channel. Commenting is big because it helps my video circulate. Wild woman, okay? So um, I've actually got this card quite a few times. Um, I know what it means, but you know what? I'm going to go ahead and read it just so you guys know if you haven't gotten it yet, okay? 62. But this is all about like owning who you are, having the courage. It's almost, I see it as a very Leo type card. So you guys could be in a Leo energy. You guys could have Leo somewhere else in your chart, but it kind of, to me, is synonymous with the strength card of like the courage, the strength, the... Um, confidence the boldness okay so you guys going into this full moon might be getting this surge of energy to just be really authentic and unapologetic and unafraid about letting your freak flag show is kind of how i see it all right so um when the wild woman comes to dance in your reading you're invited to shine brightly and to know your true self is being called out to engage in the world this is a symbol that your long-held dream is beginning to take root and wants to be expressed your authentic self doesn't fit in a box it needs the freedom to shine it's time to have courage and step into the light the wild woman says shine brightly dance with abandon be yourself and let the great spirit decide what happens you'll be happy you did the medicine and the drawback is that excess for its own sake is a sign of imbalance. This is a warning that you may be trapped in obsessive thinking or behavior, looking for releases in places that will never provide it. Let go, lest you become like the hungry ghost of Chinese Buddhist lore that can never be fulfilled. True release comes from trusting the fluidity of life, understanding that just as a river needs its banks to flow through, so do you too need boundaries around your thinking and behavior. So it's about being wild, but also about being contained when it's necessary, okay? But um, not letting your boundaries just become so diffuse that they're non-existent, but also pushing the boundaries at the same time, if that makes any sense. So number 62, like I said. So let's get into your reading, guys, okay? Let's see what's going on with you guys for this full moon. Why am I itching to do your reading? I don't know what, what's going on with you guys. All right, so Geminis. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter. Third house placement. The devil, right? So this is like, I've never seen this card in this deck. Wow, interesting cards though, you guys. We've got the devil, the ten of pentacles, the king of wands, and the page of wands reversed. All right, so, um, okay. So I feel like some of you guys might be struggling with addiction excess. That's what the wild woman was like um, warning towards against. Things that pull you that don't bring you to the light, okay? It's kind of what the devil is. It's like a chain, but it kind of brings you out of the darkness. I feel like you have the potential to really have all the stability, all the things you want, but there's that part of you that's still struggling with these things that kind of almost like destroy your chance of true fulfillment and true stability. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, you could also be dealing with a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo here, but I feel like this is kind of saying to... Um, emulate more of a king of wands energy where you're more contained with your passions like this is like i said the leo type energy it's like you could have these passions but you need to harness them and use them for productive things and don't allow them to go into excess and to pull you into a place that you become like disabled or you know discombobulated and then you can't even have this foundation this strong i see this ten of pentacles is very much like a strong sturdy foundation that you could stand on okay and the king of wands he has a lot of passion but he's not like unbridled like the knight of wands okay um so i feel like you guys might have a lot of passions right now that you're trying to harness and the page of wands is reversed here so it's like i feel like this is kind of warning you to take chances with things that are just not um, productive that aren't going to bring you stability okay but I feel like this is kind of like your shadow side that's like 
pulling you into places that aren't healthy, okay? So, like I said, you could be dealing with a Capricorn um, or a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. There's something that you don't, you're not taking a chance on, but I feel like trust yourself because that's probably a good thing that you're deciding against that abandoned, all right? This could be like abandonment issues that you've coped with. There's a lot of Leo energy. Every time I get this Oracle card, this is like an Oracle deck that has no um, astrological affiliation, but I feel like it's like Leo. So I feel like you're in this place where people are seeing your energy and they're very like, they're admiring it. They're, you, you have a lot of like charisma right now, okay? Um, but you, you want to keep in a balance. Okay. That's what I feel like this compromise is about. You want to be free, but you also want to, um, pull in the reins a little bit is kind of the energy I'm getting. All right. So let's pull from this. Allison on the well, you know what? Yeah. I had coffee this morning. I haven't had coffee in months and I'm just feeling a little wired. What, what better per, uh, astrological sign to do than Gemini with that kind of energy? Changed in the night. You have changed quickly. Inspiration, creative spark. There's a lot of passion in you right now, okay? Um, I feel like something could have like really changed you. You could for the better, okay? I feel like you guys have this sudden like urge to like move forward in a different way. I feel like you have a lot of energy. You have a lot of ideas right now, right? So, um, but you know, it might, you might want to still, like I said, you don't want to go full steam ahead, like a knight of wands. You still want to keep your passions in check here. Okay. Let's get some cards from the, um, healers of the earth oracle. I'm going to go into just a little bit of the love dynamic, too, because I'm curious to see if you are dealing with a fire sign or a Capricorn, what that's about. Ocean of love, deep love, caring, emotional support, pleasant distraction, amusement, entertainment. The message I'm getting, too, is don't forget about your connections, because I feel like you guys are in a very independent state right now. Um, and you're very distracted, but there's also, you know, people around you that are, you're emotionally connected to. And I feel like you might be a little bit like preoccupied, quench your thirst, be receptive, rehydrate, replenish yourself. That's what I'm saying. I feel like you guys are in a very solo, like serving yourself, which is fine, but I feel like don't forget about the emotional connections. You could also have a water sign in your life and this is pleasant distraction. So that's also what I'm saying is don't get too caught up in these things that you do that are like addictive almost, okay? Like the devil could be like pleasant distractions that you're using. You guys could also be, you know, I, I'm, I'm not sure about that. Let's see. I'm going to pull cards and get clarity on that. You guys could also be in a place where you had a really bad period and now you're kind of like, just like F this, like I'm not going to get, you know, deal with anything that's emotional. I'm doing me. I'm going to do whatever I want, but don't take it too much to the extreme, okay? Page of Cups. I feel like there's someone around you that's trying to get your attention, like, and give you love. Um, I do, okay, so I do feel like maybe there's someone from the past, too, that has an apology here with the Six of Cups and Page of Cups. They want to come forward. It could be a Pisces. It's a kindred spirit, but I feel like you guys, they're also drawn to you because you're in this, like, very powerful energy right now too but um this person I feel like might have brought a lot of instability to your life all right and I feel like you know it could this is a Sagittarius energy too but I feel like you feel like they're unpredictable so you're kind of not like entertaining that all right so let's just get one clarity from the signs of spirit of darkness and light about that Spirit of elixirs, intoxication, uninhibited, shameless. I feel like this person is like your devil. And it's not necessarily a bad thing because they could teach you about your shadow side. But for some reason with this person, it always goes to excess. Maybe you guys drink together. Maybe there's like a sexual like codependent addiction here. But they're intoxicating. But I feel like they take too much of your energy. And I feel like then you get sidetracked. And you're trying to just really focus on yourself is the feeling I'm getting. Like they make you feel unstable, right? So what would they want to say? to you here and you guys have a lot of creative things that you want to produce on your own too 
I lost myself for a little while. That's, I feel like you lose yourself in this person and you're trying to get yourself back. That's the feeling I'm getting. I bury myself in work to forget you. I, there's a lot about distractions here and this person like having, creating an imbalance for you, right? So I feel like you guys are really just trying to get yourselves back. I'm going to pull one more card from here and then that will be it. I feel like you both kind of bring out this part of each other that makes you both feel unstable and then you try to get yourselves back. There are still so many things left unsaid between us. I feel like Gemini always gets this card. So I feel like it's unfinished business, all right? But at the same time, focusing on yourself and recalibrating and balancing yourself is actually going to be the best thing for you and this connection, okay? All right, Geminis, that's your reading. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.